bought this bike at a thrift store yesterday and thus far among the many things that are wrong with it uh, the seat post seems to be frozen I've gone ahead and removed the little uh, clamp here um, and it just ain't budging so what I've done so far is I've been using like some uh, penetrating oil I was using some uh, uh, liquid wrench stuff and now I'm using some uh, PB blaster and using a screwdriver to kind of pry these just a slight opening gap in there so I can get some uh, penetrating oil in there and then just spraying down and trying to get in some penetrating oil around the, around the seat post and then just letting it soak in and I've been repeating occasionally and see if I can get it just to move a little bit Okay, so this has been sitting for a little bit. Let's try it again here. Let's see if we can get it to, to move. In an attempt to get the aluminum seat post to maybe uh, contract a little bit, I have an ice pack attached to it, wrapped around it, and so it's getting cold. I don't know if it's going to get cold enough to make a difference, but We'll give it a shot, see what happens. Okay, seat post feels pretty cold. I don't know if it's going to get much colder with this. Maybe I might have to dry some dry ice, but let's try this. See if I can get to move. Hmm. Doesn't look like it's moved at all. Okay, well, let's leave it on there for a little while, see if it uh, helps at all. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to try a different strategy. I'm going to try ammonia. I was reading that with an aluminum seat post and a steel frame, a chrome molly frame, that the aluminum uh, oxidizes, so aluminum oxide takes up more space than the aluminum, so it expands inside the tube, making it real tight. But I was reading that ammonia will dissolve the aluminum oxide. So I've got like a little cup of aluminum here, or a little cup of ammonia. I'm going to use an eyedropper to go ahead and try to get it in around, you know, in through around the seat post here. So I'll go ahead and ex uh... and I'll keep putting that in and let it work its magic and see what happens. Okay, I've been dripping the ammonia down along the outsides of the seat post and still letting it do its work. I'm going to try like another little tactic. I'm going to use a heat gun. I'm going to go ahead and heat the seat post. It's going to expand and then possibly when it contracts again, when it shrinks again, maybe then it will go ahead and break the bond in there between the, the seat post and the frame. And I'll try it, see what happens. And we'll let it cool and see what happens. Okay, I've been squirting various amounts of penetrating oil and ammonia down in this crack around the seat post. I'm going to try a little bit more here. Try to get a little bit of penetrating oil up in this spot here. A little bit here. And now I've got like a big gun here. I've got a big pipe wrench. I'm going to try to turn that and if this doesn't work i got a cheater bar too. So let's see if we can get a little bit of movement on this thing here. Oh. 
Oh, moved a little bit. It moved a little bit. Yay. Okay, let's go back the other way a little bit. Okay, got to move a little bit more. Well, at least I got turning a little bit so far. Okay, I've been getting this thing to turn back and forth using the, uh, the, the pipe wrench, but it's still not so much loosening up. I've been spraying the PB Blaster in there. So I'm going to try to go back to some of the, the ammonia. And try to work that back and forth and see if I can get some of the ammonia in there. And who knows, maybe that'll eat some of the ammon or the aluminum oxide and I'll work this back and forth a little bit Okay, now that I have it somewhat like loosened up, moving back and forth, I'm going to try a different little trick that I read about. Uh, I got a CO2 cartridge here with a little uh, microflate, and I'm going to release all the CO2 car gas onto the seat post here to try to cool it down, and then use the, the seat to move it back and forth and see if I can get it to uh, move out at this point. Well, that doesn't feel very cold at all. CO2 cartridge feels real cold, but well, that don't feel cold. Uh, that's that's a wasted effort. Well, I'm going to try a different tactic here. I think there might be actual steel rust down inside there, and so I'm going to try a little bit of apple cider vinegar, which dissolves like rust on screws and things. So I'm going to start dripping some of that down there and working the thing back and forth instead of the ammonia and see if that helps loosen up a little bit. Might take a little bit of time for it to soak in like overnight, but who knows. With all the stuff I'm putting down here, I'm definitely going to have to overhaul the bottom bracket. Okay, I've been turning this over and over with a uh, big pipe wrench and, and uh, squirting vinegar down into uh, the uh, little seam around here. And so now I'm seeming to be able to turn it with just the seat now. So I'm going to go ahead and try to pull up on this thing, turn it and lift. Oh. <sighs> 
Got it. Oh. <sighs>